last episode I talked about kind of struggling with the ideas for things to do. So we took a little time off and decided to make our trip one big episode versus trying to edit while I was there. I can just throw it all together at the end and you can see highlights from our trip. It'll make it easier, more enjoyable for me traveling to not spend time on the trip trying to edit. This is part of this is our like packing. A fourth of it. Yeah, we don't even have our suitcases or clothes or any of that ready yet. I have camera bag and a bunch of the camera stuff, computer bag, kids' clothes, all of Hudson stuff. We've got to bring some of Dominic's schoolwork stuff, but it's great because we're going to have this big RV. So let's, uh, let's hope that this trip goes well. It's, it will. We'll be fine. <laughs> so welcome back to the vlog. Hope uh, you guys were having a nice time for the last couple of weeks before you saw this episode. Let's get this trip underway. You got that cauliflower crust pizza. <laughs> I got one in the in the oven, not a cauliflower cutter. No cauliflower. All right. We are at, well, it's morning up. It's a little after 11, so we got about an hour before we're gonna leave the house to go get the RV. Uh, yeah, so a bunch of diapers and stuff, a bunch of snacks and wine and pull and Casey and I's suitcase, a bunch of like bedding and things to use. I think, yeah, we've got some stuff that, that's on hangers because it's an RV. I can just take it right out and hang it in the closet instead of having to pack it. Computer bag, uh, I bought a fanny pack for the trip. Come on, right? Fanny pack, gotta do that. Yeah, and then Casey's downstairs getting Hudson's clothes all together and got uh you know stuff for the drive we've got um this cooler actually has an extra food in it there'll be a couple other food items that go in it but an extra one of hudson's food and then that is full of hudson's food for the week her changing table a bunch of pretty much this whole table is going to clear off for domic we come out here all this bottled water and seltzer water that we're bringing with us we're bringing both those chairs Hudson's bath chair. Casey's parents' van uh, has their stuff that they're bringing. It's right there, and it is loaded. Kathy is uh, doing a little bit more putting stuff away. Casey just did the double check of the house. Do yeah. we have anything left? I don't. No, I closed the doors for the dogs and locked the front door and checked the fridge, which I forgot my hummus, so I'm bringing it. All right. Ashley and Troy are staying at our house, so they will be watching the house, so anyone who gets any ideas, you won't even be seeing this until we're already back home. But uh, yeah, getting ready to pull it away. I'm gonna pull our car in the driveway, and Denny is staged up right there, and he's gonna pull his right in behind it, and we are gonna head out on that Colorado trip. Thanks for joining us, we'll be on the road in a second. Okay, Casey is searching for her phone, <laughs> which is a common theme of our house. She's got her watch that helps her find it. Yes, I see it bouncing in the front of her sweat. Okay, sorry. Sweat, sweat. My phone shirt. was in the backyard. I don't know. I don't know if the dog's out. I'm not saying anything. Here we go, guys. Gonna be taking a nap back here in the very back. And out there is the rest of the family. Casey's mom is driving. Casey and her dad are hanging out there with the kids and uh, I'll be taking over the night shift, which is a lot of why we got an RV. Comfy for Hudson and uh, splitting the driving. All right, what do you think, Hudson Ann? Uh, huh? Yep, that's Is the it kitchen. pretty great? There's your bobs. Yeah. What else? Go see your room. <laughs> yeah. Those bumps. Mm -hmm. The TV. Howdy doody. Oh, we can wow. roll you right down there to your room. If you could fit through that door. I don't know. Probably not. I think you'll fit. Suck it in, sis. There's your room. That's where you're gonna sleep, okay? And Casey and I's room over here. Oh, and. Look at that big girl bed! We 
Oh, oh kiddo, you're on vacation. <laughs> oh my goodness. So exciting, we cough. Oh. Holy smokes. Wowzers. And there's a little bathroom here which won't fit you, but. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch to my phone camera because it's Show dark in here. Oh, this little bathroom. It's super cute. Oh, yeah. There's another one. <laughs> Pretty great. What a cute house. So we switched it up, actually. Both kids are going to be down here. By the way, this is the basement. It has a pool table and a bar. There's the boy getting his last 15 minutes in before he goes to bed. Look at a nice big TV and a... Good hangout spot, and then these are the stairs that we came down to get down here. Which, before we got our lift, I would have loved to have had a mirror at the bottom of our stairs because you can see your feet as you come down. So when I was carrying Hudson, I couldn't always tell when I was at the bottom of the stairs. And then bathroom, which we'll be able to... It'll be right over her head. It's not a wand shower, but we'll be able to give her a shower in her bath chair in there. Now, we did carry her down the stairs, but I think we decided it was just made more sense to have her down here because we're going to be hanging down here for a day and a half. Dominic's room. And Hudson's in the one right across the hall. And she's got our changing table we brought and a nice big bed for her. Plenty of space in this place. It's awesome. There's no yard. Like literally, I'll have to show you tomorrow. <laughs> we are actually having a little end of the trip glass of wine here, and then we are going to bed. We don't have to be up for anything except for to give Hudson her morning feed and um, dinner. So we're just hanging out today. All right, we it is well. It's daylight now. It's daytime here. Hudson, Ann, are you comfy? Are you having fun on this vacation? She's been over here smiling and talking. Pretty great, huh, kid? Grandma and Dominic have headed out on a walk. Uh, they've been gone for a good 40 minutes. And then she just sent a text and said, we're walking towards the mountains. So they're going on a pretty long walk, I think. The Hopesters. Oh, hi, <laughs> Hopesters. We, uh, Casey's friend, we were going to meet up with her and do dinner, but... Um, Apparently she kind of has a small fever, so uh, not going to be meeting up with her. And she's apparently going to go get a test of some sort for, you know, can't talk about my Sharona virus. But we are just going to hang around at this house today. We're going to order some, unless we passed a bunch of taco restaurants on the way in. And then it ended up being a whole bunch of uh, restaurants coming in. So we're trying to decide which one to have for lunch and which one to have for dinner delivered to the house because we're not going to be driving, uh, taking a nice break at this spot before we head and start doing a whole bunch of stuff when we get to our uh, final destination. You ever watch any of those scary movies? Let me know in the, in the uh, community tab comments, but uh, final destination scary movies. <laughs> okay, I stepped outside. <laughs> Terrible on camera, but those are the mountains right there. And... Our RV barely fitting in the driveway of this place. So this is the only yard which is clear around the side of the house. This is really crazy to me how small. Okay, so there's a, a little shed there. And then that's the, the quote unquote backyard. <laughs> I'm starving. Oh, cool. There's a little alley there. I didn't see any of this at night because it was like, I don't know, what was it? One o'clock in the morning, basically, when we got here. And there's a little park over there. Actually, I looked on the maps. It's not that little. All right, end of day one. Everybody is hopping in bed. And I'm going around to turn off some lights. Um, I uh, have to find them all. <laughs> oh, no, that's not it. Hey, that's it. We stayed up really late last night. I think it was three o'clock in the morning this time, which is four o'clock in the morning, our time. So, uh, yeah. All right. See you tomorrow morning. Ah, it's a beautiful morning. We're getting ready to head out. 
Grandma is in move it, move it mode, loading up. Daddy is finishing some coffee here with Hudson. And then he's going to be in go-go move it mode. Yep. And Hudson is in full-on excited mode. You're so ready, aren't you? And I'm in good luck mode. Super duper good luck mode. Tell him why you're in good luck mode. I picked up a penny and put it in my shoe. He found a penny. Find a penny, pick it up, then all day you'll have good luck. And so he stuck it in his shoe for good luck today. beautiful drive and a wonderful breakfast in a loud car <laughs> we are walking down to I don't know it's some sort of old old Colorado town or something we still have about three hours <laughs> until we can check into our house we've left the RV sitting by the cafe so it's kind of sad. It looks like a lot of this is not open around here. I mean, some of it is. A lot of places look like they've closed down. Dominic is very interested in seeing the car wash. That's that's the thing he was excited about. I actually looked through the trees, checked my maps out. Garden of the Gods is like one mile this way. In fact, I just took a picture of it. Check that out. It's like right through the trees. I think we're going to head back to the RV and then we're going to drive up to the house. And um, there's a park by there. We're just going to wait until it's time for us to go in. We still have a couple hours to kill. This room this is. Let me open your shades for you. Okay. That bed feels nice oh, after traveling, doesn't light it? Shining in for you. Yeah. All right, now we are gonna unload. Do you wanna hang out here while I get your recliner and then I'll bring you up and sit in so you can see how everything come unload, okay? Are you ready? Hudson and Grandpa are hanging out there on the porch. Dominic and Hudson have gone on a walk. We have actually been here for probably an hour and a half, loading everything in and out. We've got some groceries that are being delivered here really soon. 
This place is incredible. I'm gonna give you a tour in a second. Look at that little fire pit that they have, a little fire alcove. We think the people who own this maybe own these other ones down the street because the name on the Wi-Fi and the people, the name of the people who were renting it from was the same name on the back of a vehicle down here. Now maybe they were just, I don't know, they just look really similar. The rest of the houses don't look like these houses. I mean, it's really smart to, you know, own them all right in one area. Yeah. Great idea. These things are beautiful. Like old Dude, barnwood. Wow. It's on the roof. It's on the roof. Well. What a beautiful house. This is great. We're right across from a big park. And Garden of the Gods is literally, that's a that's an edge of it along that ridge right there. And if those trees weren't there, in fact, I'll show you in a bit, you'll be able to see some of the spires. I'm not sure because these four, let me flip this around again. You see the look of these? They're all similar look except for this one but yeah really amazing but the rest are like these kind of mid-century ranch homes I dig them I mean I actually kind of dig that ranch right there now let me flip this around and see if I can get a shot of that spire right here That's how close we are. It is right there. It seems so far away on the camera, but it's it's a like four minute drive. 